last block on this advanced backbone network technologies focuses on software defined networking software defined networking is probably the hottest topic in networks in our current days and you have also review some concepts of software defined networks in other modules of Colibri from the backbone or transport network view the main challenges that are currently facing operators are that they have non-optimum performance in, in multi-layer networks this means that, that somehow each layer in the network is taking isolatedly their decisions so so the, the final result is that the whole network is not working optimum the second challenge is related to ho how long are operating uh, 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 the network so it takes long time to take decisions in, in the operations in the network probably uh, 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 an effect of the first challenge is that uh, non-optimal tra traffic engineering uh, 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 decisions are taken and finally one important uh, uh, problem for operators is that they need to provision more than strictly necessary resources due to the, to the previously commented inefficacies the main characteristic of software defined networks is that they have a centralized control plane this software defined network controller and this this control layer is able to uh, talk to the applications so it, it has interfaces to the application layer and it's able to control the, the network layer so when we talk about this SDN controller we talk about a kind of, of intermediate layer that whose, whose main responsibility is the control of, of the optical of the transport network of the backbone network in our case so the benefits introduced by SDN are that having this centralized control we have easier convergence in, in case of failure we have an homogeneous control of the network equipment he, here is one of the most important features of, of SDN so the idea is that we have multi-vendor ne network equipment but all of this equipment is, is able to have interfaces following the SDN, the SDN uh, 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 principles so this makes possible a more flexible network at the end so, so we are finally using better using the, the network connections another very important benefit is that SDN allows easy virtualization of the network resources so the, the one important point behind SDN is virtualization of, of the optical resources in our case and another benefit that SDN uh, introduces is that it allows the sharing of, of the network resources one important point is, is the abstraction that SDN makes of the, of the underlying network which, which allows uh, mm, virtualization of the network resources in summary we could say that by means of SDN we achieve lower cost faster provisioning less operational expenses and an efficient use of the resources transport networks control plane has been realized up to now by GMPLS which was an extension of MPLS which was a successful protocol 
in the internet world and uh, SDN as you can see in this slide has many advantages or many differences uh, with GM GMPLS the idea of, of GMPLS is that we need this centralized network management system and this has been substituted by the uh, SDN controller. We avoid using the typical MPLS protocols and in GMPLS each one of the of the vendors, each one of the of, of, of the, of the uh, mm, companies uh, 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 selling uh, uh, equipment had their own interfaces. In SDN it is expected that there is a kind of common protocol which one of the of the of the candidates is open flow that will be followed but by all of the vendors. This way there is kind of of independence between the equipment and the operation of the network. Here we have this in this slide we can see how we can virtualize optical resources. So by means of SDN we have this this in, in the in the bottom part of the figure the, the we have this optical network which which has huge capacity but we are able to virtualize this yellow path which uh, gives some guaranteed bandwidth between two endpoints in the network so by means of making this abstraction of the network we can feel that we own this optical channel so we extend the concept of virt virtualization to the optical transport network. We have to say that many important uh, actors in the networking world are working in, in SDN. You have some examples here. So, so Google has a, a, a network which works using SDN standards. IBM is also involved in SDN activities as well as Infineers. Uh, so many vendors and operators are bidding for uh, SDN solutions. In summary, SDN allows programmability of the transport network, allows virtualization. It has some, some, some challenges to solve. The first one is how to migrate from current uh, technologies to SDN, how to tackle the multi-vendor uh, uh, coexistence in the network and it brings important benefits which, which are an easier cooperation between the different layers in the network, an efficient utilization of the resources in the network, it lowers operating expenses and Hopefully, it makes faster the, 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 the return of investment in the network. Finally, you have s here some references. The first one is a white paper about SDN for transport networks, which is the, the, the main mm -mm -mm topic in, in this talk. And then we have some YouTube videos about SDN in, in transport network and finally some research papers about OS about SDN sorry. That's all. Thank you for your attention.